Nebraska makes their first move in the transfer portal and schedules a visit with Oregon running back Dante Dowdle, who just entered the portal about a week ago, a talented freshman. So this video, we're going to recap what this means for Nebraska. Will they end up with his talents? And let's just give an outlook to the Husker running back room as a whole. But before we do, if you like the content, please hit the like button on the video and subscribe. We have a bunch of content coming to you. We've had four straight videos in the month of December trying to push these content out. It's a busy time to be a Nebraska fan, so definitely subscribe. You don't want to miss anything, but let's get into it, everybody. So Dante Dowdle is going to go to Nebraska on a visit at the start of January. He entered the portal from Oregon as a first-year player, was a top 200 recruit in the class of 2023, was a top 10 running back out of Mississippi. Um, and this is a guy who already took a visit to Mississippi State. He was considering going back home, but now it looks like all signs point to Nebraska. And Matt Rule's really trying hard to get his talents. Um, this is a guy that on tape, he does everything right. You look at his high school film. He's a big running back. Listen, that's 6'2", 200 pounds. He's a guy who he will truck you uh, if needed in order to get to the pylon in the, the end zone. Uh, he had a one play that he posted on his Twitter where he trucked a dude and hurdled a guy in the same exact play and then ran around the sideline for about a 70-yard touchdown. I mean, this is a dude who's a complete stud. At Oregon, he didn't have too much playing time this year, only played in about one game, had 17 carries uh, for about 100 yards and a touchdown. So not bad from a true freshman. Given the circumstances, we know that Oregon has one of the best running back rooms in all of college football. So this is a guy who you know, will definitely benefit from his one year there at Eugene. Um, this would be a huge get. This is a guy who instantly, if Nebraska does get his services, can be a starter from day one. I was, you know, I've already kind of talked about the running back room a little bit, but this is not a very talented running back room. I think as of right now, your best uh, back is either Emmett Johnson or Gabe Irving. You know, those guys are solid running backs, no, you know, no doubt about it. But in the Big Ten, that's not going to do it. That's not going to cut it. You've got to have better. You've got to uh, get more guys in that room in order to compete at a high level, especially given the fact that now we have Dylan Riley. You want to have the best roster around him uh, to change this offense around. This was a terrible offense last year. We cannot continue to sit here and be happy with bringing back guys. Like, yeah, everybody's part of the problem. Um, so definitely, absolutely needed a running back transfer. This guy fills that need. Um, and I, we need to lock him down. We need to lock him down. We still do not know if EJ Barthel will come back for another year. Um, I was not a huge fan of EJ Barthel. We saw what he got on campus uh, when Matt Rule hired him. He basically pushed AJ Allen out the door. Um, to Miami and AJ Allen is one of the more talented running backs we've seen since Amir Abdullah. I was a big AJ Allen fan. So we don't know if EJ Barthel will even come back as the running back coach. There has been a lot of rumors since the end of the Iowa game that he would not come back, but there's been no official word about that yet. So we'll keep an eye on that um, as always. But yeah, just a really, really big transfer uh, who's going to come on a visit here. So definitely keep an eye on that, folks. Um, just a quick video. I wanted to let you guys know about it, but um, again, if you have any other comments uh, about Dowdle, this guy is a complete stud. We'll have a film breakdown of him if he ends up committing. Uh, so watch out for that. But as always, everybody, go Big Red, go Matt Rule. Have a Merry Christmas, and we'll see you in the next one.